Hello, my name is uh, can you hear me? My name is Brian Strickland, and the reason why I'm even getting baptized, I've been baptized, I think, twice in my life. But uh, the the reason why I'm getting baptized, and I want y'all to, I went six days through a very painful torment of uh, emotions. And I quit watching TV. I quit doing everything. My brother was worried. I always done stuff, you know, in my home. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped doing it out of the blue after having a real bad dream. And um, I don't want to scare the children with this. I'm not going to go into detail. But I can tell you this, that there is a hell and there is a devil. And never stop and think that that you defeated the devil, we're always going to be fighting against the devil and his ways. Well, I have made a mistake, and I've been confessing about all the people here this business and have an income, is I got to the point where I kind of forgot about, you know, that, you know, when there's sin in the world, you get used to it, and it's like, well, it's just a thing. You got to be angry to get sin. God was saying, no, son. I'm angry against sin. You need to be angry against sin. And I'm not saying point fingers and judge you here, critter. I'm just saying dig out in your heart. Be like, you know, you you just really don't like that sin, and you want to. Um, you know, pray for that person. That will get you to actually pray for somebody and mean it. We always say we're going to pray for somebody, but that's just, yeah, a lot of times it's just something we say. We don't really, really, but now when God starts to show you this, you really want to pray for somebody when this happens to you because you want somebody to pray for you when you ain't got no help. But I, that's the only two things I wanted to say, and God brought me here to be baptized. It's time to be saved. And when he told me to be saved, um, he, he told me right then. He said, he's like, I was going to do it this morning. I was late. And I was like, all right, devil tried to slow me down. It's okay. There's an evening. And the Lord said um, in my heart, you can go this evening. You know, so he, he, he let me get here. But just remember that. Always remember this. And I've been with the Lord for a long time. And I'm not a preacher. But I, I'll tell you what. I've heard his voice twice in my life. Literally heard it. It's very deep and very loud and it's scary. And I've heard it twice in my life. And by me just hearing that, that's what get, got me to believe in him. So the reason why I'm saying this is that that's an experience that how many people you think experience in this world? Probably not even 1%. We have so I was very thankful. Very, very thankful that that had happened to me in my life. Right, well, so that's one thing that even got me to believe in God like 100%, not just 80. So, yeah. I didn't mean to take up y'all's time. I just had to let all that out. I'm not afraid to speak the truth. I would like to say with you before I just baptize you. I don't know again, I don't know what you believe in. I want to make sure you're doing it for the right reason, especially if you've done it twice before. I want to talk to you and study with you. Uh, so why don't you do that? I mean, it's not about challenging you. It's about making sure you know what the Bible says, because God speaks to us through His Word. He doesn't honor belief. Yes, He can. The Bible is I never believed He could either when we showed it. The first so time He said His whole complete Word, and so let's study about it. The first time He said something to me was by two. I forgot about the Noah's Ark. I didn't get why I didn't believe in it. I said, how in the world could all the animals could have been put on the water? And he told me about it. The second time, this case was called blasted. I done something somewhere. I don't remember what I did. Right. 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 All right. We have uh, our Lord's table prepared. We'll uh, we'll have a uh, we'll, we'll take care of Brian and get him situated here in just a few minutes. Uh, we're going to give you an opportunity if you hadn't had that to uh, to partake of the Lord's supper. We're going to sing 315. If you need to partake of that, come down and you'll be you will be served. Okay. I'll just let you be seated over here and we'll we'll serve you for the Lord's supper. 315. Let's When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I 
So uh, we'll, we'll celebrate our June birthday following this. And uh, we're glad to have Chad and his family with us today. And uh, they'll be working with us officially starting in a couple of weeks. So we're very excited about that. Uh, thank you for, uh, for being with us today. Um, we also have our men's breakfast coming up on the 24th. That's next Saturday morning. So remember that. I'm sorry. No, somebody said something about golf. We're going to play some golf after that. So. That's always a good outing for that. So we'll see. It's been a while since I played golf. <laughs> but uh, so come and be a part of those things. Remember our service on Wednesday evening for a Bible study. We've got a closing song here, and after that, we'll be dismissed. Thank you for being here. Let's stand at the scene. Y'all have bass on this side. I need help on this one. It's 570. 570. Uh, we'll just sing the first verse. <laughs> All right, let's sing. Each day I'll do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span, and so I'll do the best I can. Life's evening sun. Life's evening sun. go to meet the deeds that I have done, where there will be no setting sun. Would you pray with me, please? Our most gracious Heavenly Fathers, we come before you. We thank you for another wonderful day that you've given us today. Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity that we had today to gather together with our brothers and sisters and, and sing songs of praise to you and study and hear another portion of your word, Lord, and, and be able to commemorate the Lord's Supper. We're just so thankful for those opportunities. We're thankful, Lord, that you, that you came to this earth and lived that sinless life and died for us so that we can have a hope of heaven if we're found faithful in the end. We pray, Lord, that we take the things that we've... Uh, uh, heard tonight the words that we've heard the the songs that we've sang and we pray that we apply them to our lives and be and go out into the world and be good servants lord be a light so that others can see you in us we're so thankful for all the things that you've done for us lord we pray that you be with those that are 
uh, that are sick. We pray that you be with those on the sick list and those that are going through tests. We pray that you be with them. And those that have lost loved ones, we pray that you comfort them. We're so thankful for all that you do for us. And we pray that you be with, the, be with us tonight and bless the food that's been prepared. We pray that you uh, bless it to the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies to your service. We're so thankful for, for all the things that you've done for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Could you pray for my Aunt Mary? She's got soul. Your name is uh, Mary. Could you pray for my Aunt Mary? Yes, my mom. Yes, my mom.